Looking forward to this showdown at 184 pounds. Aaron Brooks, ranked number one in the country. The sophomore for Penn State. And Taylor Vans, a redshirt senior for Nebraska from Farmington, Minnesota. He's had some great mojo. You see the confidence in his performance at these Big Ten championships. Aaron Brooks, one loss in his career, and it was delivered by Taylor Vins. It was back in January of last season, a 9-5 win by Vins in the dual meet. Brooks came back at the Big Ten championships and was able to pin Vins. Wrote that wrong, would have been the Big Ten Championship match where he beat Cameron Caffey of Michigan State to win the crown at 184. Here's Taylor Vins and Aaron Brooks. Yeah, Aaron really showed us a lot uh, in that uh, quarterfinal match that he had where he got hurt, so he came all the way through, but in that match against Brands, he was hurt. His ankle was, he didn't know whether he was going to be able to keep on, but he did keep on all the way to the finals, and Vince, his trajectory has been tremendous. He's come to wrestle. It's very evident. Yeah, this is an interesting weight class, guys. You know, the you know the two through five guys were probably the same as the six through nine guys. There wasn't much difference here between the seeds. And Benz, of course, he, he's had some success, and he's been at, you know, as high as fourth in the country as far as being an All-American. So he's has these the confidence to work with, and, and he's tightened up his style a little bit here at this tournament where he's not giving up as many big moves and his reversals, and so he'll need that against... A guy who's really, I think, gotten better since that, that uh, significantly better and more confident since the first time they met. Vanza scored 19 points in this tournament. He was fourth as a freshman, as an All-American. And here's Vins, a good opportunity. Can he score first? There's a takedown. Great level change there in the low single. Cut the ankle, got the other uh, ankle, drove through, and got the two points. Really nice job of changing level and driving through. Whoa. Brooks comes right back at him. Love the flurries here in the first 50 seconds of this first period. Treetop single here from Brooks. Wants to make sure he gives himself enough room. He's got it elbow deep. He's going to drive around and nice little finish there at the edge. So good start by Vens, but he immediately comes back and, and just for just for activity, for activity's sake, you know, just kind of took a straight on double like that and, and was easily spun around and dropped in on a single leg was Brooks. So and sometimes just the, the nerves and the activity, you're hooked up, ready to go, you get that first takedown, and then all of a sudden you're ready to look at her, add in onto it a little bit. You gotta calm down sometimes. And I think that little anxiety maybe shot that he took that wasn't really well advised kind of put him behind the, 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 the sticks on this one. Aaron Brooks, Big Ten Freshman of the Year in 2020. That was the third under head coach Cale Sanderson. He joins David Taylor and Jason Noff as recipients of that honor. It's been dominant all season long in the short season has Brooks, but you spoke about it before, TJ. He showed some flat-out guts in that win against Brands. Yeah, guts and gumption, real man stuff there when he... Uh, continued on and then scored some big points and won that but you know he just forces wrestling positions he gets in and figures out how to score and and, and i mean bo you you wrestle with him he just looks like a guy that uh, wants to get in there and get in positions and and figure it out uh, as he wrestles and he does it really well absolutely you know very fluid wrestler you saw it on the go behind of his transitions um he has a great natural feel, so, you know, 30 seconds left here. Um, building that riding time, we're looking for Aaron to close the period out on top. Yeah, and you can hear the, the corner saying, be patient, be patient. You know, they're looking for, you know, not not, not to give Vins anything, but he's kind of a, a guy that takes advantage of any overcommitment and looks for reversals. Final seconds in this first period. Vince got that first takedown. Brooks answers with one of his own and the right out to lead 3-2. Look at this misdirection. I think he able to hit right there, drives right through, has that ankle uh, bent right there, and then able to go ahead and leap through to get to the other side. And here's the go behind and then dropping over into a leg right there. You know, it looked like he was almost dumped off to the side and was able to go ahead and scramble back, and there's a nice finish he had at the edge of the mat for his takedown. Yeah, Vens can't take bad shots like that. Brooks's reattacks are too good for that. Yeah, I just think it was in a, 
feeling good and I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to get this thing going and add to my, I got a good clean takedown and just an anxiety shot. Vins riding Brooks. See Brooks yeah, this in position is here. Still right. Still right. Still right. Yeah, he lost the leg right there. Now he gets the leg hooked back up. But if, if Brooks able to keep his head up and make a good turn. You saw where that he lost the leg position, Benz did, and Brooks took advantage of it. So. Brooks is so impressive uh, wrestling through the uh, situations. He's just looking, what can I do? He's not going to stop. He's not going to give up on any position. What can I do? And as Bo said, he has this feel. And, man, that's Let's just really here, impressive Let's wrestling work. through the positions as Brooks does. Well, Bo, what I see here is that the guy that, that uh, you put a leg in on him, and he's looking for the reversal. He's got a really good feel in that down position. There's a nice escape from Vince. Neutral. Two-point match. Brooks has that riding time over a minute and a half. Another go-behind situation for Brooks. Yeah, against a guy like Brooks, you better have a really good angle and a setup or he's going to make you pay a steep price. A good example of that. And Brooks, as he did in the first period, will look to ride out the Cornhusker here in the second. If he's able to do so, he'll take riding time over two minutes. And when you watch Brooks, just so talented, great on his feet. Stay legal with it. Stay showing legal his strength in the top position. As Vens flat. You see where Vens was doing a pretty good job of riding in the top position. But see how he just loses this leg position. Just allows it to, you know, just comes out and loses that position and just allows him to go, I guess, I'm going to go back up a step. He just planted his forehead on the mat. You can't ride a guy when you're planting that forehead on the mat. You're going to lose it every time because, it, you know, Brooks just basically got his head higher and made the turn. Looks like Vance is a pretty good black eye in his left eye. It's, you know, this tournament, you're going to get some bumps and bruises. You can hear the physicality, the bodies banging, the hard hand fights. Better bring the big boy pants in this tournament, guys. <laughs> It is that, and you know, and when you see this tournament in person, you know, just to, what impresses you is the, you know, the consolation rounds, and good wrestlers will get beat in this thing early in rounds, but, you know, you've got about two or three other meat grinder matches. It's not like you're going to cakewalk back to third place. And everything is contested. I mean, we have seven, ninth place matches at times. It's all contested. Got to have a short memory. Get on that backside, and it's a character test. Yeah. One person who's got an opportunity not to see the backside of this tournament is, is this Aaron Brooks. He just looks so solid. I tell myself I'm never going to say it again, but I'm going to make the you, error no, again. No. <laughs> because of this year being free, Aaron Brooks, if he stays healthy, will get five cracks perhaps at a Big Ten championship. It's never been done before. He just might be the first. He's got the skill set, no question. Spreading Benz out there on his chest again. Makes the go behind that much easier. Still green. Still green. One thing Still to point green. out here, TJ, Still we saw green. with Spencer Lee. We've seen it here with Aaron Brooks. It's okay to give up that first takedown. Things happen. Stay poised. Just keep wrestling. Let yep. it go. And I think that's uh, Brooks' game there. I don't think he's too concerned about that. He just wrestles through every position, as I said. And he's chill. He's calm. He's poised. And I don't think that bothers him at all. And he's shown that today. I think it's just a really good message to young wrestlers. Even the best guys in the world give up some takedowns. And Aaron Brooks will win his second Big Ten championship. With the riding time points, it's a 10-5 decision for the Nittany Lion Brooks. Decision 10 to 5 from Penn State, Aaron Brooks. See Casey Cunningham and head coach Cale Sanderson trying to get Aaron over to Ray Flores and get some comments from the Big Ten champion at 184 pounds. Solid performance. And there you see Taylor Venz. There's 
some disappointments on that second perch. Aaron Brooks getting it done here with that single leg finish. The answering takedown he had on that go behind and he ends up getting a reversal in this situation. Vince is a little bit, you know, he's tough in the top position. He didn't think that, that was necessarily gonna happen. And then the rest of the time, he's stuffing his head and getting these go behinds for a nice win. And Ray is with the two time Big Ten champion, Aaron Brooks. Thank you very much, Shane. Aaron, congratulations on your second straight Big Ten championship. Is this one extra special because it is here at Penn State on your home mat? Yeah, of course, you know, um, being home with my fans and my teammates and family getting able to come. And also just, you know, uh, this year, just knowing why I'm wrestling, wrestling for God, go out there and glorify him and everything he's blessed me with. You have shown your superiority here in 2021, but you did face some adversity in the quarterfinals of the tournament with an ankle issue in the quarterfinals against Nelson Brands. How were you able to fight through that? Um, like I said, just, just putting it in God's hands and, you know, trusting in him, and that's where I get my peace from to come out here and compete and wrestle free. So um, things like that happen. We get hit with adversity, but, you know, with, with, with God in your corner, you get through those things. Aaron, congratulations on your second straight Big Ten championship. Thank you.